been a while again since I've filmed a video, but I'm super excited to come back, show you some stuff. Um, I haven't been thrifting that much. I think I say that in like all my videos now, but um, you know, we hit up a couple thrift stores. I went to like a local, um, I don't know, like flea market type of thing. Um, <clears throat> and that's, that's kind of the long and short of it. Um, everybody's sleeping right now. So I figured this was like the primo perfect time to try and sit down and film. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of jump into it. Um, the first things I'll show you, there was kind of like an indoor, um, I guess you could say like yard sale, flea market, um, sort of like a church sale. Um, but it was for like the local, I believe Polish club, kind of cool. So they were advertising it and I kept seeing it on my drive to work. So I was excited to kind of hit up that and go. I didn't find too many things because of course like with Willow we were late and so I didn't get to like be the first in line and get all the good loot but I found some cute stuff. So the first thing I found um, are two of these milk glass um, dolphin candlesticks. I always felt like they looked more like koi fish than dolphin but um, I guess they're like supposed to be dolphins so whatever but I found or I actually found four of these. I found two sets of them um, and they were $5 each. So I paid $20 total for those guys. And I've sold some of the big ones before, not the milk glass ones though, the um, like amber glass. But I don't know, I just thought it was pretty. So I grabbed those. Um, almost all of this, I'm like so impressed with myself guys. A lot of this is already listed um, on Etsy. So look at me, look at your girl, like already killing it. So I got that and then the other thing we got is this little, um, this cute little, I guess he's a lamp, yeah. So he's missing the light bulb. We actually ordered uh, another light bulb. So his nose is supposed to be red. I think the original light bulb was just painted red, but we bought like a Christmas bulb, like a vintage Christmas bulb to go there. So I ordered that on Etsy and that's on its way. Um, but I gave him a bath cause he was pretty gross. Um, and I just thought he was so cute. My husband really like connected with him more than even I did. He just really wanted it. Um, we, we paid up a little bit too much for him, but who cares? He's cute. So the bar is open. I like him. Um, then the last thing we got at that sale is this cool painting. Um, this was 50 cents. So we keep saying no more art, no more art, because it's the worst thing in the world to ship. It's expensive to ship. Um, and this isn't so bad because it's just painted on board, so there's no glass, but it's a huge hassle to like pack things safely so that they'll actually get where they need to go. And then in return, it's like I was saying, it's expensive because the packages are big. So I don't know, I feel like art for a lot of sellers sells really well. For me, maybe not so much. I don't know if it's just like the shipping costs like deters people, but anyway, this I thought this was so pretty. It's an original oil um, and it is marked 78. So I don't know, just thought that was sweet. It's signed um, and I really liked it. Of course I picked up a ton of art. You guys know me, I can't not be trusted at all. So there's that. Um, okay, um, my best friend came to visit Willow and meet her. So we went to a couple thrifts. I didn't really find much, but I did find this cute vintage stoneware honey pot. Um, so it's pottery. And I just thought it was so pretty. I loved this blue line and this brown line. Um, and it's just very large and chunky and cute. So this is up on Etsy as well. Um, I have it on display in my kitchen right now though, because I really like it. And I've been sort of on this on the prowl for um, more pottery. I've just been into like more like neutral, like kind of homemade, like homey sort of 
things. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like in a different in a different mood lately. I think that's been the hardest thing with my thrift journey is my style just is constantly evolving and I'll buy like a million things and then be like, nope, don't want that anymore. Then have to sell all of that, which I don't. It takes me forever to sell it. it just ends up sitting in storage forever um, while I'm on to like my next journey. So right now I'm like into like very like natural, neutral, like calm tones. Um, I guess it's just like having the baby at the in the home. I just like am gravitating towards like a little bit cleaner lines, like a lot more calm. Like, I don't know. There's something about things just being like homemade and natural. That's just like I pulling on my mama heartstrings, I guess you could say. So pottery, wood, um, those kind of things, really, really into it. Um, then I went to Goodwill a few times. Jordan and I went to a couple local like little thrift stores that I like. I picked up this uh, Majolica leaf. So I have a little tiny Majolica collection. I have a pitcher and a little creamer. So I'm kind of tempted to keep this. Um, so this is not listed yet. Um, just to kind of expand my little Majolica collection. My creamer is listed, so I guess if that sells, then I might sell this. But one of the ways you can really tell the age of a piece is based on the crazing. So you can really see that the crazing on this is pretty beautiful, to be honest. Like I wouldn't use it. it I certainly would not be um, safe to use as far as like, you know, you could, you could put like covered food um, you know, like candies or something that are in a wrapper, but I wouldn't do just regular, wouldn't use it as a serving dish, but it's just so pretty. It would be really nice for makeup or things like that too, jewelry. So I grabbed that. I feel like that was only like a dollar because they were doing 50% off. Um, and then I grabbed this plate that I thought was really, really pretty. This is Japanese, it's from the Tuscany collection. So it's Japanese porcelain, and then they wrapped it with um, bronze. I've read in the past that sometimes like when they there's broken pottery, they wrap it in the bronze like this to preserve it. I don't think that that's what this is. I think this was intentionally wrapped in the bronze, but anyway, I thought it was really pretty. I have a few of these in different patterns that I actually use, because I love the way they look grouped together. Um, but this guy I did list, I just thought he was really cool. He's not exactly my color palette that I'm going for at the moment. So that's why I listed him, but I love that he's like riding this horse. I don't know. Neat, right? So that's on Etsy as well. Um, and then Jordan was at my favorite thrift store. So my favorite thrift store is like, I think I've told you guys a million times, but it's like an hour south of us and it's in like the world's worst area. It's like in such a bad area. So I haven't wanted to go with Willow cause I just don't want to risk it. It's not worth it. Um, but he happened to be working down there. So he stopped during the day for me and that's the best time to go too. It's like during the week, um, it was still like, he was filming for me so I could like look at everything and it was still just insane madhouse in there 24 seven, but the weekend it gets really picked over. So he grabbed me two things, which I was super excited for. The first is this little cloisonne piece for my collection. You guys probably know I collect it. Oh, you can't see, but the top shelf is like all my cloisonne. So um, he picked this guy up for me, thought it was just really pretty. Um, I don't have this piece, so that was cool, but I always pick up Plaza and I think this was only like five bucks too, which is awesome. And then he found me this beautiful little pin. So I've been so hesitate, hesitant to list this just because I thought it was so pretty. Um, I did end up putting it on Etsy, so we'll see. But like, if it doesn't sell, that's okay. I can keep it. Um, it's just this little floral sterling silver pin um it has a little pin back i think it would be so cute with like a little picture i would honestly maybe use this like as a display on my vanity as opposed to like actually wearing it i don't know or you could slip like a chain and do wear it as like a little necklace i don't know how well that would hang but anyway i just love the flowers and 
it's so pretty and it is sterling it's marked so cool um so we got me those two things like such good finds so happy um and then i went to goodwill a couple times with willow it's it's a challenge she's actually really good when we're not at home she sometimes is worse when we're at home because i think she just gets bored but i the last time i went i was wearing her and she's just getting really big so i was just having a hard time like navigating the aisles and like looking at everything um so i'm really bummed because one of the things i bought was broken and i could have sworn that it was like not broken when i bought it so i don't know if maybe it broke like trying to get it home because that's also another challenge like in and of itself but i'm really bummed there's like a hairline crack so i don't really know what to do i just thought it was so hilarious it's like this little dog and this little bird um vase and it's marked japan on the bottom um it was 2.99 so like you know not like a huge hardship plus i got my 20 percent discount on it so like not the end of the world but i just don't know like should i still list it and just like you know let the buyers know about the flaw or should i just send it back to goodwill and let somebody else love on it i don't know what the best thing to do is um if you have a suggestion let me know but anyway hysterical right like so funny so I, I grabbed that. Unfortunately, that was kind of like a fail. Um, but then I grabbed this little coffee um, sugar and creamer set and I'm like so obsessed with them. I'm also so proud of myself, you guys, because I'm usually like the laziest thrifter. Like I'll buy all this stuff and show you guys and then not wash any of it and like not get any of it ready for a listing and just throw it in a box somewhere never to be seen again. And I actually polished these like who even am I? Because I kid you not when I tell you they, these two were black. Like they were disgusting. I must have used like a whole half a bottle of bron like uh, Brasso. So don't really know lost money there. But um, I just thought they were so beautiful. Like with the etching. And look at their little feet. And their little feet. And this like lovely little lid that I knew that somebody would love them. Um, I don't know. A lot of resellers are say that they do really well with bronze or brass I mean I don't I do really bad with brass it does not sell so I'm um challenging myself to like actually take time to try to polish things because I think that's maybe why my brass kind of sits for a long time so I spent a long time getting this guy ready so that's the little creamer and then this is the little sugar it's just so cute. It's so squat and fat and I just love it. And I love the little feet on it. And I even cleaned the inside. Like I really worked hard on this guys. <laughs> so anyway, these are listed. Look at me, not only is it cleaned, but it's also listed. Um, I'm over here living my best life, trying to list the few things. Um, I think like all the stuff that I've purchased in the past that's like looming over me is just stressing me out too much. So I get really overwhelmed. I have really bad ADHD and just like seeing like a huge mob of things that need to get listed. I just get overwhelmed and I'm like, nope, not doing any of it. But when I bring home like one or two things, I'm like, oh, I can polish one thing and I can list these two things. It's like the, it's when it gets like too overwhelming. It's like an episode of Hoarders where like, if your house is not that bad, you can kind of clean it. But like once it gets too bad, it's like, forget about it. Just give up on it. Um, I think that's what happens to a lot of these people. Just, just, just guessing. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I found some more art that I'm not supposed to buy. I also found this with Willow. And so that's probably also maybe why that little dog thing got overlooked or broken. Cause I was trying to lug home this giant picture while holding her in like the South Florida heat. Like she's a heater. Like she is such a little heater. And then I'm sweating. She's sweating and it's hot as can be out, and I'm trying to lug all my stuff. <sighs> We're a mess. Like, we have not, we have not mastered that yet. <laughs> we, we still have some work to do. Um, but I thought this painting was so cool. Like, how much does this look like a print? But it's not. It's actually um, a watercolor. Um, I think they also use like some oil paint in there as well, like mixed with the watercolor or some acrylic. I don't really know. It's signed and dated 64, I believe. 
Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. Um, and it's framed, like the frame has some dings on it. So I'm going to just like try to paint them. Um, but the glass is like that special glass um, that's like UV protection. So like, you know, this is a legit piece. Um, so I couldn't leave it. Plus it was only 10 bucks and then I got my 20% off. So it was like eight bucks. So I mean, come on even though Jordan's gonna cry if this ever does sell, but I haven't listed any of the art yet because like I suck at listing art. That's the other thing, photographing art's the worst because like it, you get the glare and where do you even photograph it? My light box is way too small. So I don't know, I should not be allowed to buy any art and yet, and yet I do. Um, I also found two giant pictures for myself, which is stupid because um, I don't need anything else, but when I show you these, hopefully you'll understand and be like, oh yeah, you needed that. Um, so I grabbed these at the thrift store. So they are vintage or really closer to antique actually. Um, yeah, these are, this is antique. Um, well, very close to being antique, I guess I should say. Um, pressed leaves and flowers framed. Um, so this little piece of paper has like an explanation of it. I'm not sure what language it is and it's not in English, but it's this one's from 1929. Um, obviously the frame and all of that is not old. It's just the picture itself is old. And then I think what happened is because if you look on eBay, like people have done this where they take like pages from like journals or books um, of pressed flowers and then they frame them. So the frame I like, I don't love it, but it is nicely framed. So I'll probably just keep it as is instead of trying to make a project for myself. Um, so I got that one and then I got its friend. So this one's cooler in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I just love it. And this one's from 1942. So really neat. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. I really love it. Um, so these are definitely going to stay with me. This is kind of like going along with that, like vibe that I've been into more, like, I've been really leaning into like more actual antiques instead of just like all uh, mid-century stuff. And I've been leaning into um, like more natural, like um, foresty, nature, handmade, like all the crunchy mom stuff I've been really into lately, um, which kind of leads into the next portion of my haul. So I went to Goodwill yesterday and they pretty much just picked up a whole bunch of crunchy mom stuff. Um, so I picked up some more brass, which is hilarious because like I said, your girl does not do that great with brass, but they had these both in one bag for $2.99. So I figured like, you can't really go wrong. Plus like, you know, I got like 60 cents off of that. So it was really like 2.30 or whatever. So not bad at all. Um, these guys, I don't know if I should polish because they still have like a little bit of shine to them, but they have a nice patina and they're not like stained and like splotchy and gross. So I might list these like as they are. And then if like they don't move, then polish them. But they have really nice etching. They have the old like pointillism stamp that says um, India on the bottom. So that's cool. So I got those. I got this little stoneware owl. Um, I don't know. I, I've had little versions of this guy, but never like a big one. So there, I'm just partial to him. I don't know. There's like a part of me that wants to keep him. I want to do like, I'm, I'm not even sure if I feel like putting my Halloween stuff out this year. I think I just want to go straight into like my turkeys and do like fall Thanksgiving and just have that up like through all of October and November instead of like trying to kill myself put up Halloween and then take it all down and then have to put like Thanksgiving up it just is a lot and then that way I could keep that up until I'm ready to do Christmas um so 
yeah, I think I'll probably, I don't know, I haven't decided. I'll probably list him and then just like keep him out until he sells or maybe I'll keep him, I don't know. But he's really cute, right? Um, so I got him and then I found some more pottery cause you know, your girl loves handmade pottery. Um, another mug, just what I needed, but it's stamped um, and just really beautifully made. This is not an amateur piece. This is, you know, actually like good pottery. Um, same with this. This is also like nice pottery, well done pottery, um, really beautiful. And then this guy. And they just look so pretty, like stacked together. Like it's just something so natural and like neutral and homey. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm in a weird, weird place, guys. I don't know. Um, then I found this really cool old um cutting board, old bread board. Um, at first I wasn't gonna get it, and then I was like, no, it's so cool, like I need it. So I haven't decided if this is gonna be for sale. The pottery is not for sale yet. Um, I don't know. As you guys know, I wanna redo our kitchen like in the worst way. We literally have blue linoleum countertops, blue, blue, like awful. Um, but I wanna at least do, I don't wanna do tons of open shelving because I'm too much of a mess and a hoarder for that to like look good. But I wanna do a little bit of open shelving and then um, have like all my pottery kind of on my open shelves. So we'll see, either that or the jadeite. But anyhow, I thought this was really pretty for fall with a little acorns. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this obviously, it's like for decor, but it has like a crack, it's just cool. Um, it was $5, so again, like worth it. Um, then I picked up some random acorns. I'm sure Goodwill was like, I'm like actually like mildly shocked that they didn't throw these away when someone donated them. Like it just goes to show that they just like don't care. They just literally sell everything. They're like, whatever, we don't, we don't know what this trash is, but we'll sell it. Um, but of course, like your girl picked these up. These were still on the like little trolley to go out on the shelves when I found them. And I was like, yep, I'm gonna take them. They were also, there was like a ton of other beads and stuff in the bag with these. These are just the ones that I kept. So I feel like these are so perfect for fall. They're like little wood, look at this one. Like little wood acorns. Like this is just like kind of that vibe that I have going right now. Um, is that cool? Aren't those cute? I don't know, I just thought they were so cute, like displayed in a little dish, like all these little like acorns and like little nuts. I don't know, I thought they were cute. Um, in other news, I Willow is six months now, isn't that crazy? Time is flying. Um, and I, my husband and I decided for me to be a stay at home mom. So I'm super excited about it. It's not a vacation. <laughs> It's not like being a stay-at-home bunny mom, which was always my dream. Um, it's definitely a lot like to be home with her all day and like doing all the stuff with her, but it is like amazing. Like I'm really, really, really lucky and very thankful and starting to get in my groove. I've been home with her for like, this will be my third week that I've been home with her, I think. Um, so we're starting to get in our groove and like figure everything out. She's teething really bad right now. So like the struggle is very real for us, but, um, I don't know. We've been having fun. So hopefully I'll be able to thrift more, I guess is my goal. I'll be able to do Etsy a little more, like kind of be able to like work on the house a little more and just kind of work on my hominess. We're um, redoing a room right now that we're gonna use as like a den slash playroom. And I know some of you have asked to see some of our like house stuff. So I definitely wanna take you on a home tour and show you that. Um, and then I just only have two other little things to show you and then we're good to go. That's kind of a short video and I can hear home slices up from her nap. So perfect timing. Um, okay, so I got this little basket set because I thought they were so cute that they matched. Um, Florida is like the basket hub of the world. There's like every thrift store has 10 hundred bajillion 
baskets. So I feel like because they're easy to find, they don't feel as special to me. So I don't pick them up as often. But I know there's going to be a day when like all the baskets get purchased and it's like they're not readily available anymore. And then I'm like, I want baskets. Um, but I am really picky about my baskets and I don't want them unless like I feel like they're vintage and I feel like they're in really good condition. So these guys are like so I love how delicate the weave is and they are in like fantastic, like perfect condition. So um, I nabbed those so cute for plants right or whatever um kind of like part of like Montessori which is what I'm leaning into um is like using baskets and stuff for her so gonna do that and then the last thing is a little um oh my gosh I have to go get her um the last thing is this little music box it's Peter Rabbit um Beatrix Potter from 1977 and it plays it's a small world like what um, I had a music box in my room as a little girl that played It's a Small World and it eventually broke because I listened to it every single night before going to bed. So this was very like, I don't know, just like tugged on my heartstrings. Um, her room is like forest slash bunny theme, like we have bunny everything. So Peter Rabbit just kind of fit in really perfectly and he's in wonderful condition. Um, and I have some like like a set of Beatrix Potter books actually on one of her shelves. So he's going to go there. All right. I got to go grab her before she starts getting really mad at me for ignoring her. Um, thank you so much for watching my video, guys. I love you. Um, I hope everybody is doing really well. Um, and I'm going to try really hard to like do some more videos. So we'll see how we do. Fingers crossed. All right. Bye.